Okay, congratulations on creating your Autodesk account and accessing Fusion 360. I want to show you some of the layout of this program so you can become familiar with it. Uh, it's a really nice, simple program, and as soon as you learn a couple things, you're going to be making, making stuff in no time. So, first thing I want to talk about is saving your project. So, as you see, this is what your finished project will look like, something similar to this. So, this is my car. And your end goal is to have something similar. Um, but before we do that, you need to learn some of the basic commands and be able to save and draw and navigate. So you go up to the top left, there is a data panel. It looks like a little Rubik's Cube. You can click on that. And you can say New Project. And this project you can just call CO2 Car and hit New Project. So you have just created basically a folder in the cloud. It's not saved on your computer. It's saved in the cloud. And you can save projects within that folder. So I'm going to exit out of that. Then I'm going to go to this little file option right of the data panel and go down to Save As. And I want you to save it as your first name, last initial, CO2 car. And then the location should be in um, the CO2 car that we just created. So we just created this. Make sure you select that. Hit save. So now if I go back to my data panel to that CO2 car folder, I guess we could call it, um, my car should be in there and it's right here it's at the top I'm going to double click that here it is so a CO2 car folder in the cloud click on it saved inside of that folder so whenever you're gonna save it again you can just go to file save as and just hit save and you're good And when you go to exit out it'll also ask you if you want to save so if you forget to save it'll it'll cover your back. It'll say, hey, do you want to save? And you'll just say yes. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is this ribbon. Um, the ribbon has your commands to do different things. So you can, within the ribbon, you can create sketches and modify sketches and create 3D things. Uh, there's different tabs. This is a sketch tab. Um, in the tab, there are the common commands like uh, rectangle and line. Below that, there's a drop-down arrow, and there's a lot more commands that you might not use as much. But So you'll be in here, you'll be using these circles, spline, others, trim, um, mirror. So we'll be in this for this project. In the future, when you do a 3D project, you'll be using more of this uh, Create tab, and it involves more um, 3D things. All right, so we've talked about the data panel. We've talked about your ribbon and some of your commands within the ribbon. How to save. Um, one thing you need to make sure that you do is you change, make sure your units that you're drawing in are standard and not metric. So if you come over to the left and you do a little drop down arrow on document settings, it'll show you what units you're in. Mine are in millimeters, so that's metric. We want standard. So I'm going to go right of that, and it says change active units. When I click on that, it pulls up this option here on the right, and I want to go from millimeter and change that to inch, and set that as your default, and say OK. So now my drawing is in inches. Now if you don't do this and you draw your car, you're going to have to redraw it. So don't forget to do this. And it's probably a good idea to go and save after you've done that. Okay, so we're in inches. All right, last thing I want to show you is how to navigate um, inside of here. So you can use your mouse, and that's usually what I do. You can scroll out and in using the scroll wheel. You can click and hold the scroll wheel and pan right to left, up and down. Um, if you want to orbit, you can use your um, view cube up in the top right. You can click on this cube and hold it and just orbit, or you can click on parts of it and it will take you to that view. 
Okay, there's also um, the arrows to turn it. So that's one way to view your drawing. Down at the bottom are the same tools. There's your orbit command, um, pan. Like I said, you can do these with the mouse and your um, view cube, or you can do them with your options down here. So there's more than one way to skin a cat when you're changing your view. Okay, uh, one last thing I want to address that I've seen problems with is people go to start drawing, like say that they just started, it's a new day and they just started and they're getting ready to draw and they clicked online and it says, hey, pick a plane. And sometimes they'll just click out here in the middle of nowhere and it creates a new sketch, which we don't want to do. You want to click on your old drawing, see how it kind of highlights it, and just click anywhere on your old drawing. Now you're drawing on this same sketch. You're not starting a new sketch. So if you look over here on the left, it says sketches. You only have one. You only ever want to have one sketch. Um, if you have more than one, that's okay. We can fix it. But um, try not to have more than one. And I'll show you. Um, I'll create a, a second sketch. So I stopped my sketch, and I'm going to start drawing again. And I clicked off, off of my sketch up above it. And I start drawing. And I'm like, oh, cool. But I'm not actually drawing. I'm not connecting it to my old sketch. It's kind of on top of it. It's like a new layer. So here's my second sketch that I just did. And I don't want that. So you can just right click on it and delete it. Or you can copy that sketch and paste it into your first sketch and combine the two. So just try to be aware of when you're starting a new drawing that you click on your old sketch so you draw, you're drawing on the same layer. Okay, so it's quite a bit. Um, the next video, we're going to start on this side view and get you going on your car.